I'm Robbie O'Leaf, and it is Thursday, uh, October 6th. Welcome back to my Call of Cthulhu playthrough. Uh, make sure you check out my previous recordings, uh, which you can do up above, or you can just uh, join in with me now. In the previous episode, we had just reached the section where they, these cultists are doing some kind of a ritual on a guy. And I decided to just walk up to one just to see what would happen. And that didn't end well for me. So now I know. Don't walk up to the crazies. Now in my playthroughs, especially ones that are story driven, I'm not going to do a whole lot of talking. Um, so expect long pauses as I explore around. Now it was around this way that I walked right into a cultist. So let's try going this way. Dead? This ritual killed him. Where's the sense in that? I mean, they're a cult. They're not known for making much sense. Clearing off these uh, things so that they don't continue to appear new, but I have already read this in my previous playthroughs. So it looks like I'm going to have to go kind of where that cultist grabbed me last we time. We are ready for the ceremony. What about your protege? His awakening is complete. He will join you shortly. I'm pretty sure they can't, they're not going to see me from over here. What was this? Oh, nothing. I thought maybe that was an area to go into. Bradley, what are you doing here? I saw two hot looking guys coming down. Seemed up to no good. What in the world is this? An intruder! Oh shit! Don't move! Police! Don't move! I won't hesitate! Yeah, Bradley, get back! Show. Get back! You asked for it! I assumed I was gonna stay hidden. But outed myself to him. Oh! Okay, I'm not in control. Then. It's been caving in. We need to get out of here. I'm okay. Uh, my leg. I like the effect of the ringing ears. 
this. For some reason, I keep expecting to wind up back in the place Light. that, that uh, appeared in my dream. <sighs> Chapter 5, Riverside Institute. Pierce and Officer Bradley follow the intruder to the secret me meeting place of a cult set in a network of underground caves right under the Hawkins Manor. They witness a strange ceremony led by a Charles Hawkins, very much alive. Bradley tried to arrest him, but Hawkins, whose body displayed various mutations, disemboweled the police officer. As he tried to escape from him, Pierce found himself prisoner of a rockfall. Rushed to the Riverside Institute, he's in a critical state. So I wasn't expecting Bradley to die, at least not this early. Um, without giving away spoilers, I did look up to see how many chapters are in the game, and we've got a ways to go, so I would have figured he'd last a bit longer. Especially since they uh, made mention of um, the bootleggers, the slit face, and he's got that scar, so I'm surprised he's dead. Maybe he's not dead. I mean, yeah, I'm just assuming. This is Lovecraft. He could very much be alive and converted now. Look at my hand. No! Was that you, though, Strange? He's having a seizure. He will survive. Strong and such. <laughs> There, he's opening his eyes. Saved him for So are they part of the cult or am I just hallucinating? Don't move, Pierce. Oh you can he's... certainly say that you gave us a scare. <laughs> what did you do to me? Undo these straps! Whoa! Go easy, my friend. You were dead. He killed you. Are you sure he's better? He was... he was dead. Me too, we... we were dead! What are you doing? I'm sorry, my friend. What? No! Ooh, added room, huh? What happened to me? Where am I? On oh, here, I thought uh, my door was going to be unlocked. Mr. Sanders, you have to come with us. No, please, I can't leave here. <coughs> Don't understand. I go out. You're leaving this cell. Please. I don't want him to find me. So since it gave him a name, I'm thinking that guy's going to be important later on, probably. Oh, there's something. Oh, I can go to sleep. Okay. I assume that's what I'm supposed to do. In a different location. I guess that's Lovecraft for you. So I can't run very well, I assume, because I'm so wog or wobbly from all the drugs they've been giving me. I want to go this way. They trapped oh. me. Okay. me right into their dreams. That kind of gave me the creeps. Looking at me. I'm going this way. I don't like freaking see people. Oh, that's the only way to go. Okay, nice.
Not gonna lie, this part's a little bit creepy. Oh, he's just gonna keep watching me. That is rude. Oh, shit, more people. some Freddy Krueger kind of shit going on here. I feel like maybe this part is a dream and I'm still in the asylum, but I don't know. When the last of them rises up, you will choose. I love the graphics on this one. not be here to bear witness to it, because you will have released me. But the earth will resound to your cries. Or theirs. Awake. And free me. You there. Wake up. Come on, stand up. We don't have much time. Is that the lady that gave me the drugs earlier? I can't can't remember if it's the same person. Can you stand up? Who are you? A friend of Ethan Bradley. It was he who told me that you had been interned here. Wait. Bradley is really alive? I don't understand. You filled me so full of drugs I can't distinguish dream from reality. Please believe that I have nothing to do with these disgraceful treatments. Look, I don't have time to explain everything. I'm not really supposed to be here. And the same goes for you, according to Ethan. You must leave as soon as possible, and as unobtrusively as possible. I've brought you your clothes. Let me go ahead. We'll meet upstairs. Wait a minute. Let's try this. Why should I trust you? I don't even know your name. All I have is a woman dressed as a doctor, which is not particularly reassuring. I am Dr. Marie Colden. I work in this institute. But that does not mean I approve of everything Dr. Fuller does. He hides a lot of things from me, especially on this floor. We must not stay here. There are two men standing guard near the stairs. It's the only way to the floor above. I shall try to distract them, and get at least one to come with me. All you need to do is to follow me as soon as the way is free. Understood. Okay, that laughing man, shut up. Alright, let's check our journal real quick. I have three uh, character points, not enough to do anything with. Got a new sanity. Uh, the Ritual. In the tunnels under the Hawkins Mansion, Pierce witnessed the disemboweling of Officer Bradley by a man with a monstrous appearance. The men in gowns and their rituals had not succeeded in affecting the veteran. However, the brutal death of Bradley, the discovery of the identity of his killer, whom he recognized as the dead Charles Hawkins, as well as the latter's superhuman strength, managed to strike fear into him. Pierce still does not know if he should believe what he saw. He may even put these visions of horror to the shock caused by the death of Bradley. Or he may put it down to a lack of oxygen provoked by the rock fall. Got my lamp back, I guess. I don't know why it bothered to tell me that. Oh, some inhabitants. Okay, we've got 
Charles Hawkins, age 41, occupation, ship owner, and squid face. Charles Hawkins is alive? Despite its crude and deformed appearance, this thing looked like Hawkins. He attacked Bradley after he recognized him. What could have happened to Charles on the night of the fire? I've never seen a major Burns victim in such a state. Something's not right. Marie Gold Colden, 32, Doctor. Officer Bradley's female friend works as general practitioner at the Riverside Institute. She had figured out long before I arrived that Fuller was involved in illegal activities. She wants to shed full light on the nature of his experiments and believes that helping me to solve the Hawkins case could advance her own investigation. Okay, first I've got to go check out the, um, I think his name was Sanders. His what does word. this mean? You can't escape. You can't, what is that? Seer? I'm not sure. Burn it. Lots of elder signs scrawled all over. The paintings are cursed. He'll come for you. Sarah, Sarah. Let's begin a reconstruction. Finding stuff right off the bat. In his eyes, this symbol must have some protective virtues. I can't remember. Is the Elder Sign good or not? What did he write about the painting? That they're cursed. Can't you read? I mean, hell, I've read it out to you. Sarah. What is this? Am I in Outstress. an asylum? You really have to ask if you're in an asylum. Oh my god, this guy's an idiot. This is no medicine. What else is there? There we go. Sarah Hawkins is on this list of authorized visitors. Alright, so we've seen everything we need to see in the reconstruction. No, I didn't hold it long enough. Let's go ahead and check our journal for the new stuff. Okay, nothing under there, it looks like. Okay, I thought there was going to be new stuff. It's laughing, it's driving me crazy. Not really sure which way to go, so more than likely the other way, because this way is so short. I'm checking these doors, hoping there's going to be like a jump scare. Like, I think I figure a patient's going to jump at the window or something. <laughs> so, this one's actually going to let me slide the. If I don't get out of here, I'll end up like him. I thought I was going to get to slide a window open. Come on, is there seriously not going to be a nice jump scare through the window there? Poor wretch. <laughs> Yummy. Dr. Colden, I would like to say that I'm surprised to see you, but we all know that your curiosity will be your ruin. I don't understand. These people need care. You keep them in this terrible place as if... Go back upstairs where your patients are waiting for you to treat them. As for you, gentlemen, do not disappoint me anymore. No one enters or leaves. Yes, Doctor. Stealth and detection. When an enemy, I'll have to find a way of getting rid of those two myself. Right, I didn't finish reading that. Why did they decide I had to talk? Ugh. Am I claustrophobic? Why is it acting like this is creepy? out there that I just don't see? <laughs> so 
doesn't look like there's anything that I need to pick up in here. The machine is working again, but the control wheels haven't been lean put forward. back on. Lean forward and watch without being room. seen. I can bring him to Mouse and A and D. Why does oh, it go away Dr. so quick? Fuller far? doesn't want us touching the pressure valves. As you want. I'm going to see if there are sleeping pills left. They run Turn out the again. Turn the light out. Put a few aside for me, will you? And above all, leave the wheels where they are. So I feel like there is no way that I'm going to get through this without being caught because I haven't had the chance to Good actually God. read. What could this machine be used for? Some of the instructions. What is going on here? Medical record of Francis Sanders. According to his record, the patient seems to be suffering from psychosis. He gouged his own eyes out in an attack of delirium. Have I activated anything? I feel like I hear something electric. Don't back down. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Zoology, esotericism, mineralogy, and a full shelf on cephalopods. Sarah Hawkins. She was a patient here. Sarah Hawkins was interned at Riverside for fits of insanity a while before her death. She wasn't uh, at her first attempt with the fire at the mansion. Anyone coming? I mean, was there a reason for me to climb in there? It's just... so I have the option to hide at times, but have not had any wounds. need to. A document attesting to the fact that Irene Sanders, wife of Francis Sanders, had her husband interned after he had shown grave signs of madness. Done. Now for the others. Oh shit. Shit, 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 shit. Like, how could he not see me just from there? Oh crap, he just had... Oh, he's not coming in here. Okay. If I walk, I do not stop. I do not stop, he does not catch me. If he does not catch me, I do not sleep. If I do not sleep, I do not see him. I do not hear him. Oh, he does not call Don't me. Don't let me sleep in here. Call. What is welling up inside me? He calls me. I feel it in my head and in my body. He roars and swells and has strength of oceans. Its waves rise and crash. Leaving behind them only a trail of white nourishment. Okay, so it was the um he is my holding the right he entered oh, shit. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, if you hold yes. the right mouse button and then A or D you can kind of peer a little bit. Oh shit, 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 shit. Okay, let's go another way. 
date is this that, that, that's, that's, that's the problem. I, I don't know what this date is. The calculations. All right. Four days. Maximum. Five at the most. I've been in here. Oh. Locked. Breviary of Medicine, Tome 1. This heavy tome, the first in a series of three volumes, is the bedside book of every experienced practitioner. It contains all the recent advances in modern medicine. It's frequently found in the libraries of major medical universities. It's surprising to to discover a copy in such an isolated place as dark water. Okay. Close. We've read all these. Inventory. Knowledge. And I Okay, no new character points, so nothing there. So there's something near... there we go. A control wheel to mount on a plumbing system. Hey! Oh shit, 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 shit. Oh, fudge. Is there a way to fight? I wanna fight! I don't know what to do! Alright, looks like they got me for now, so we're going to go ahead and end here for today. I hope you enjoyed this, and like and subscribe, and tune back tomorrow uh, for more of the Call of Cthulhu, I think they pronounce it in the game. I've always said Cthulhu, but I think he said Cthulhu? I'm not sure. But I'm Robbie O'Leaf, and I'm Robbie O'Leaving.